Hey there, here we are in the middle of the uh, 911 that I've been uh, having you keep track of. I'd like you to think of something real quick. Hiccups. Not the physical ones. I'm talking about the ones that you experience whenever you're trying to work through medical situations, your to-do list, your multitasking, your children's schedule, your husband's traveling schedule, your parents' schedule, their medical needs, their finances those hiccups. So my mom is scheduled uh, for a um, biopsy of her right lung today. <clears throat> and uh, on her whiteboard in front of her uh, medical bed or hospital bed, they put uh, NPO. Well, to those people in the medical field, that means nothing by mouth. Um, but the food service served her breakfast and she commenced to <laughs> eat it. And uh, so, um, you know, uh, the patients don't know what NPO means, and so I'm going to give a friendly reminder that perhaps they should write that nothing by mouth is what it means. So, um, it's only a hiccup though. I mean, either do we, do we believe and trust that God will take care of it or do we not? So I'm stepping in faith, uh, even through, if you saw my, uh, recording this morning through the headache, uh, which is, is really, uh, continuing, unfortunately. But I will move through this with grace. So um, there is an abandonment prayer um, given to Father Delindo uh, by Jesus. And that abandonment prayer basically says this. It says, Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. That's kind of it. In one of the uh, writings about this abandonment prayer, Jesus says, You are like the child who goes to the doctor and tells the doctor what to do um, instead of allowing the divine physician to do what he desires and what is on his heart for you. So either I believe or don't believe, either I choose to come into the language and belief system. That's Proverbs 18, 21. What you speak with the tongue, you receive its fruits. Proverbs 23, 7. As you believe, so shall you be. Do we believe that he'll actually bring to us what we need? I've heard one time that the Lord will bring to you what you need, but you'll have to go after what you want. So this is a need, a medical need. We're going to watch what Jesus does, and I'm going to take you along for the ride. I trust he's going to work this out. Stick with me. Check me out on inonespirit.com. Look at me on YouTube where it says spiritual, your daily dose of spiritual oxygen. But currently I'm creating actually one whole thing about this 911 as we move through this. I think it has a lot of edifying components to it. All right, let's move with grace. Let's follow grace and see where he takes us. God bless.